So get yourself comfortable. We're going to learn that super song. Now I know choir children, you started working on it in choir and uh, I would like everybody to learn this song so when we get back to St. Max, we can sing it together. It's a Liberian song and it's a welcome song saying welcome. I welcome you from my mind. I welcome you with my mouth. I welcome you from my heart. I welcome you. All right. When we're learning the words, everybody, Afanga Alafia, um, it's kind of like you're saying fun, but you're adding a G on the end. So you're going Fanga Laugh, like you're laughing. Fanga Lafia, Ashe Ashe. And that's all the words we say. Fanga Lafia, Ashe Ashe. Fanga Lafia, Ashe Ashe. Fanga alafia ashe ashe. Let's say it together. Fanga alafia ashe ashe. Fanga alafia ashe ashe. Ready? Here we go. Fanga alafia ashe ashe. Have Fanga alafia ashe ashe. Now we want to keep the beat while we are saying Fanga Alafia. Remember the beat stays the same. The beat doesn't change. So I'm going to keep the beat while I'm saying the words now that we know them. Here we go. Can you keep the beat with me? Fanga Alafia Ashe Ashe Fanga Alafia Ashe Ashe Fanga Alafia Ashe Ashe Fanga Alafia Ashe Ashe And then, well done. After that, we can experiment with so many different rhythms that we can keep and play so many different rhythms where you mix um, long and short. And so I would could go ta ta ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta. Let's try that. Now these are rhythms that they change. They've got long bit and short bit. Long bit and short bit. Long bit and short bit. I would. So you can hear Clay, he's keeping the beat still. some rhythms or beats. All right, everyone. So you saw me do a little bit of the actions just before to show the welcome. And I will teach you the actions of this beautiful Liberian song. Rebecca, come on in. And then you also can learn along with Rebecca, who's been watching me and singing along with me as I've been singing the song and recording and doing all kinds of things. All right. So we start with, I welcome you with my mind. I welcome you with my mouth. I welcome you from my heart. I welcome you. Let's try that again. Ready? Here we go. I welcome you with my mind. I welcome you with my mouth. I welcome you from my heart. I welcome you. Now I'm going to add a little bit of rhythm with my feet while I'm doing those actions. All right. Here we go. One. Two, three, four. I welcome you with my mind. I welcome you from my mouth. I welcome you from my heart. I welcome you. Let's go again. Welcome you from my mind. I welcome you from my mouth. I welcome you from my heart. I welcome you.
time right so I hope you're remembering to laugh I have a very special book about a giraffe called Celeste the giraffe loves to laugh Celeste the giraffe loves to laugh Celeste was a friendly happy little giraffe she had a kind heart and she made others laugh. But Celeste sometimes worried that she wasn't enough. It seemed like other animals did much crueler stuff. Could she be more like a hippo? Why not give it a bash? But when she jumped into the water, she barely made a splash. Celeste tried to be a lion, fierce and strong and proud. Roar, she yelled, but no one cared. Her roar just wasn't loud. Roar! Roar! Celeste looked at the ostrich, but then the poor thing found. It really hurt her head when she shoved it in the ground. Beep, beep. How about the cheetah, she thought, now that would be the best. But after running 100 yards, Celeste needed a rest. Maybe I could be a fish, I'm great at blowing bubbles. But the bubbles came out the other end, which started major troubles. The kangaroo told Celeste, you really are not ready. You can't become a kangaroo with overalls and a teddy. I'm a chicken, can't you see? It really is clear cut. But when Celeste sat on her eggs, she smashed them with her butt. Sploosh, scrunch, crack. No matter what she tried to be, elephant, snake or snail, rhino or flamingo, she seemed destined to fail. The monkeys were so graceful, swinging to and fro with ease. But Celeste was far from elegant as she crashed in through to the trees. Oof. I may be clumsy, but I know that I'm very strong. And I can reach more than the others because my neck is long. I can do so many things like grab things out of reach. I shouldn't need to copy when I know that I can teach. I don't need to be someone I'm not, thought Celeste the giraffe. 
And so she began her very first class. And what did she teach? How to make others laugh. Don't forget to laugh, everybody. Bye.